The Web Proxy Auto Discovery Protocol is a method used by clients to locate a URL of a configuration file using DHCP and or DNS discovery methods. Once detection and download of the configuration file is complete it can be executed to determine the proxy for a specified URL. The WPAD protocol only outlines the mechanism for discovering the location of this file, but the most commonly deployed configuration file format is the proxy auto config format originally designed by Netscape in 1996 for Netscape Navigator 2.0. The WPAD protocol was drafted by a consortium of companies including Inktomi Corporation, Microsoft Corporation, Real Networks, Inc., and Sun Microsystems, Inc. WPAD is documented in an Internet draft which expired in December 1999. However, WPAD is still supported by all major browsers. WPAD was first included with Internet Explorer 5.0. Context, in order for all browsers in an organization to be supplied the same proxy policy, without configuring each browser manually, both the below technologies are required, proxy auto config standard, create and publish one central proxy configuration file. Details are discussed in a separate article. Web proxy auto discovery protocol standard, ensure that an organization's browsers will find this file without manual configuration. This is the topic of this article. The WPAD standard defines two alternative methods the system administrator can use to publish the location of the proxy configuration file, using the dynamic host configuration protocol or the domain name system. Before fetching its first page, a web browser implementing this method sends the local DHCP server a TIC pinform query, and uses the URL from the WPAD option in the server's reply. If the DHCP server does not provide the desired information, DNS is used. If, for example, the network name of the user's computer is pcdepartmentbranch.example.com, the browser will try the following URLs in turn until it finds a proxy configuration file within the domain of the client, http wpadepartmentbranch.example.com slash http WPAD branch example com WPAD dot HTTP WPAD dot example dot com slash WPAD dot dot HTTP WPAD dot com slash WPAD dot dot note these are examples and are not live URLs due to them employing the reserved domain name of example dot com Additionally if the DNS query is unsuccessful then NetBIOS will be used. Notes, DHCP has a higher priority than DNS, if DHCP provides the WPAD URL, no DNS lookup is performed. Notice that Firefox does not support DHCP, only DNS, and the same is true for Chrome on platforms other than Windows and for versions of Chrome older than version 13. When constructing the query packet, DNS lookup removes the first part of the domain name and replaces it with WPAD. Then, it moves up in the hierarchy by removing more parts of the domain name, until it finds a WPAD pack file or leaves the current organization. The browser guesses where the organization boundaries are. The guess is often right for domains like company.com or university.edu, but wrong for company.coc. For DNS lookups, the path of the configuration file is always WPAD. Dat. For the DHCP protocol, any URL is usable. For traditional reasons, pack files are often called proxy pack. The MIME type of the configuration file must be application XNS proxy autoconfig. Please read proxy autoconfig for more details. Internet Explorer and Conqueror are currently the only browsers offering support for both the DHCP and DNS method. The DNS method is supported by most major browsers. Requirements In order for WPAD to work, a few requirements have to be met. In order to use DHCP, the server must be configured to serve up the site local option 252 with a string value of HTTP, example.com slash. WPAD.dat, where example.com is the address of a web server. In order to use the DNS-only method, 
a DNS entry is needed for a host named WPAD. The host of the WPAD address must be able to serve a web page. In both cases, the web server must be configured to serve the WPAD file with a MIME type of application XNS proxy autoconfig. If the DNS method is used, a file named WPAD dat must be located in the WPAD website's root directory. The PAC files are discussed in the proxy autoconfig article. Use caution when configuring a WPAD server in a virtual hosting environment. When automatic proxy detection is used, WinHttp and WinINet in Internet Explorer 6 and earlier send a host, IP address header and IE7 Plus and Firefox send a host, WPAD header. Therefore, it is recommended that the WPAD DAT file be hosted under the default virtual host rather than its own. Internet Explorer version 6, 0, 2900, 2180 XPSPSP2 RTM requests WPAD DAT instead of WPAD DAT from the web server. If you are using Windows Server 2008 as your DNS server, you might have to disable the DNS server global query block list or even modify the registry to edit the list of blocked queries, security, while greatly simplifying configuration of one organization's web browsers, the WPAD protocol has to be used with care, simple mistakes can open doors for attackers to change what appears on a user's browser, an attacker inside a network can set up a DHCP server that hands out the URL of a malicious PAC script. If the network is company.coc and the file HTTP, WPAD.company.co.uk slash WPAD.dat isn't served, the browsers will go on to request HTTP, WPAD.co.uk slash WPAD.dat. The browser doesn't determine whether this is still inside the organization. CHTTP, WPAD.com slash. For an example, the same method has been used with HTTP, WPAD.org.uk. This used to serve a WPAD DAT file that would redirect all of the user's traffic to an Internet auction site. ISPs that have implemented DNS hijacking can break the DNS lookup of the WPAD protocol by directing users to a host that is not a proxy server. Through the WPAD file, the attacker can point users' browsers to their own proxies and intercept and modify all of WWW traffic. Although a simplistic fix for Windows WPAD handling was applied in 2005, it only fixed the problem for the com domain. A presentation at Kiwicon showed that the rest of the world was still critically vulnerable to this security hole, with a sample domain registered in New Zealand for testing purposes receiving proxy requests from all over the country at the rate of several a second. Thus, an administrator should make sure that a user can trust all the DHCP servers in an organization and that all possible WPAD domains for the organization are under control. Furthermore, if there's no WPAD domain configured for an organization, a user will go to whatever external location has the next WPAD site in the domain hierarchy and use that for its configuration. This allows whoever registers the WPAD subdomain in a particular country to perform a man-in-the-middle attack on large portions of that country's internet traffic by setting themselves as a proxy for all traffic or sites of interest. On top of these traps. The WPAD method fetches a JavaScript file and executes it on all users' browsers, even when they have disabled JavaScript for viewing web pages. References Further reading, Jonathan de Boyne Pollard Automatic Proxy HTTP Server Configuration in Web Browsers Frequently Given Answers A, Jim Groves DNS Server Global Query Block Lister, External Links IETF 1999, Web Proxy Auto Discovery Protocol A Euro Expired Internet Draft. Proxy Configuration Notes for Conqueror.